And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Tom Lux. We're going to be trying out a new version of Tom Kent. We're going to be playing it with Lux. This deck is uh, courtesy of Mamba Man, another streamer and YouTuber. Uh, you can check out Mamba Man at TV. Um, he's, he's been playing this deck with and having a lot of fun with it and sent it on over. So we're going to try it out. Um, basically, what we got here is we're going to have a control deck with our two champions, with Tom Kench and Lux. And we're going to be wanting to cast a lot of spells with Lux to level up Lux. And thankfully, Tom Kench creates a spell for us every single turn, so that helps out there. Um, but we're going to be going Unyielding Spirit. Has it, It's been a little while since we played Unyielding Spirit. A lot less hush running around these days. Unyielding Spirit with both of these champions can be amazing, especially with Tom Kench. Because Tom Kench can just um, have the Unyielding Spirit and then start eating um, all of the opponent's enemies, you know, one per turn. And you just don't have to worry about Tom Kench taking any damage. So that's pretty awesome. We also have Chain Vest in here. I think that Tom Kench with Tough could be really cool. Um, let's see. Sprayfin is doing its thing, drawing some of these cards and could be drawing Bayou Brunch for us. So we got Bayou Brunch to go along with our Tom Kench be able to make Tom Kench even bigger. Um, so that's that's going to be pretty cool. Um, in our opening hand, we're going to be looking for Remembrance quite a bit. We're going to be like Remembrance. Um, Radiant Guardian also will be an important card for us to stay alive with Radiant Guardian being able to combine with Concerted Strike and Single Combat for some striking. All right, looks like a really sweet deck. Here we go, Tom Lux. going to be our first one. Yeah, so we have we have the uh, we have the the uh, mage seeker investigator that can create that creates detains for us. So we uh, we're not playing like the actual card detain, but we're playing mage seeker investigator that um, detains. You gobbled up a ton of Trindomirs today. Awesome. Okay, so they're going to be playing Tom Kench. So Tom, their Tom Kench will be able to eat our. Um, Tom Kench, if you like through Unyielding Spirit, right? So like Unyielding Spirit's not going to be as good here. Um, I definitely like Turn Three Remembrance. Um, do we want like the Bayou Brunch to go along with Tom Kench? I guess so, right? Like so, I guess we're just keeping all these. <laughs> that is a funny word, right? Gobbled. That's a good one. Gobbled. All right, I like the opponent's style. They're going with the new champions with Tom Kench, Soraka. They got the new Halloween board. What we got? Swift Wing Lancer. It's a good one. Who's on top of the bounty board today? We'll gobble up this crusty codger. So if we both play Tom Kench's this turn, we get priority first, so that's gonna be important. Table for one, if you don't mind. Don't stand in my way. But now they're also going to be they're also a Bastion deck. And so that's a problem. Where there's a will, there's a meal. I love drawing that single combat. So we can stop a bastion. I played this matchup a lot. One at TK has the upper hand. What does that mean, Mama Man? What do you mean, one at TK? Really? 
Nova always provides. I I understand that TK is Tom Kench, but I I don't know, I'm not sure what I played this matchup a lot oh, one I at. I'm not sure what that means. I'll find that yet. Okay, so that thing's pretty big. Um, I think we're gonna go Lux and start trying to uh, have Lux get the final sparks and everything. Well, you've already got hot boiler. Yes, but not for you, army. Okay, the first the first person to have Tom Kench out. I got gotcha. you. Okay. One. Okay. Yeah, one was supposed to be first. Okay. Yeah. So the first. So yeah, like we have Tom Kench out too, because we can just kind of hold our acquired taste for theirs. And that kind of stuff. I got gotcha. you. So we could just remembrance, but then I don't have the extra mana for the acquired taste. All right, we'll just go with remembrance. This. This is worse for my Tom Kench. Pushing my limit. Today we hunt. I am here to help. Why don't you meet like a banana? Yes, going under two mana is kind of dangerous because the opponent could play their own Tom Kench, but I just... I don't know, I didn't like any of my options. <laughs> my other options. Um, I thought that was still just the best option. and um, You know, thankfully they, they didn't have another Tom Kench. Yeah, I kind of like this hunting fleet. I kind of like just like the vulnerable, at, you know, going with a lot of vulnerable, stu vulnerable stuff in Bilgewater to be able to... Uh, Get some damage allies. I kind of like it. All right, let me make sure, make sure I'm doing this right. All right, first of all, let's cast this one. An ally captures another ally. So we want pick an ally, capture an ally. There we go. I almost did that the incorrect way. We're going to get rid of this thing that's vulnerable. Grow our Tom Kench. Still got a couple prismatic barriers. Yeah, it's true. I should probably be checking the Oracle's eye. With that too, that's that's true. With that, with that, that kind of card, because if you if you do that the wrong way, it's like game. The game's over. <laughs> or like they get their Tom Kench back. That's a high risk card for sure. I should have ate Radiant Guardian. I could see that. Another nibble. Stay back. Oh no, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Alright, what we got? So we probably can't do nothing before turn three against Misfortune Gangplank. This is probably a matchup where we have to have Remembrance. Like, I don't think we can wait till turn four and play Tom Kench and be okay. So, uh, waiting till turn six to play Lux is <laughs> also probably not okay. The dead don't need riches. Okay, Remembrance, here it is. We're gonna draw it. Nope. GG's. I, I, I don't regret mulliganing everything. I don't think Tom Catch on four was gonna save us. Ah, oh, Remembrance, you were a card too late. To get rich. So 
So do I need to... We can try to set up Remembrance hitting Radiant Guardian. It's, what, a 1 out of 4? 1 out of 5 chance now? One out of... uh, we could try to set that up. With Sprayfin. Keep up, keep up! Because I think that's my only way that I'm going to be winning is if we get Radiant Guardian. I don't I don't see where we're at against this kind of deck with all the Nexus damage they have and everything. I don't see that working out for us. Really in any other way. Yeah, normal, normally we'd be playing Remembrance there and then try to get the Attuned Mana, but this is just a, a skewed game where I think I have to have... Um, where I have to have Radiant Guardian. Looking for trouble? It found you. Well. <laughs> uh, didn't get that scout attack. Alright, well, against Super Fast Burn, gotta be able to do something turns 1, 2, or 3, and I was not able to do that. Love ya. We only have three cards that we can cast before turn 3 in our whole deck. Uh, with Bright Steel Protector, Mage Seeker, Investigator, and uh, Remembrance. And we were not able to draw one of those three. War Mason, reporting for duty. Yep, yeah, bad hand. This could be a good unyielding matchup. Now they may have hush, hopefully not. Hey, there's things that that costs less than four. Um, I'm not sure if Bright Seal Protector is going to really be a necessary card early. So, yeah, they could have Hush. Um, but this could definitely be a good Unyielding Spirit game. Like if we get Tom Kench on Yielding Spirit going, just eating a bunch of dragons. That could be really cool. There's Unyielding Spirit. Hopefully Zap Spray Fin ends up being good. I am skeptical with Zap Spray and Fin just being a 2-2 against a bunch of big dragons. But <laughs> with how this hand looks, hopefully Zap Spray Fin's good. Will you comply? Or are you complicit? The skies darken with their approach. Root them out. Please no challenger dragon. Alright, not a challenger. So I guess, again, I'm just, <laughs> just playing this. We're not getting very good attune value. That's just how it is. I want to have Unyielding Spirit for Lux, of course. So that's my plan is next turn play Lux, turn after Unyielding Spirit it. Okay, so they don't run Hush generally, but sometimes they have Obliterate. 
Yeah, that could that could also be uh, not ideal. I want to play Lux after combat. I'm worried about them like challenging Lux. And then I mean, I guess we do have backup Lux. Okay, so yeah, if we, if we have Lux die, we do have backup Lux. So maybe I don't need to worry that much about Lux dying. Plus, we'd have Prismatic Barrier. That's tr that's true. So I got Prismatic Barrier to be able to protect Lux with the Champion spell. They're quite indecisive. Is Sorak is Soraka good? Ready is that the question? Soraka good? Um, I haven't, but I don't. I don't think we really need. I think it's okay to not have the detain. Um, I could also just chain vest. Maybe I just do that. It still gives me my two mana for single combat. And we'll still have enough mana for. Okay, now I don't have enough mana for Unyielding Spirit next turn. But this would be three mana spent, so like another three mana on like a barrier or a Bayou Brunch would give would un, would level up Lux and give me the un, the uh, final spark. another one of these uh no i would not play stony suppressor in in this deck um we have just way way too many spells i wouldn't be playing it i i do understand that you can turn your five mana spells into six mana which could be good for lux like turning a detain into that but our deck's not really focused on detain we only have three mage seeker investigators that can create detain after we play spells it's just not worth it at all Final sparks a bunch. Um, yeah, I guess I should have attacked with Lux. That's true. So I was going to shield her. I kind of decided to, to shield her during combat, but yes, I, I should have just attacked with Lux with them being at zero mana. So yeah, Enviolus Vox created this card. I'm telling y'all, Enviolus Vox is underrated. Here we go to. Definitely thinking that they have single combat or concerted strike or both. Um, especially concerted strike, I'm worried about that. So we can have, you know, so yeah, we can have our our elusive that gets to attack. We can have that eat the Lux. And I have Unyielding Spirit Protection. They can just have the card that allows them to block an Elusive. They could have Hush. They can have some things that would be really problematic for me. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. Let the blood boil, half dragon. Woo! Probably need to just play something last turn. Sharp Sight. That is problematic. I don't really like how I played these last few games at all. These last few turns at all. Sorry. Wish I could, wish I could have a do-over.
I'm honestly surprised at that. I thought... Oh, well, that's... Too many of these Pale Cascades and Sharp Sights. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't realize that a barrier... I honestly didn't realize that a barrier would protect against a Concerted Strike. I, I would, this game could have been a lot easier if I would have, if I would have realized that. That was something that I was worried about for the, the previous however many turns. Yeah, I didn't know that at all. But, but of course, this this is the big problem here. Oh, okay, they just messed up. They had the... Oh, okay, they just they just messed up the Concerted Strike order. Okay. That's why that, that's why that happened. Uh... Yeah, good on our opponent. They did have, like, just the cards um, that they needed all the time. You know, like, they did have the good interaction. But I I just don't like how I played those last few turns. Do we keep Bright Seal Protector? No. Second game in a row with us having a whole bunch of spray fins after mulligating, but I, I do like that we have Remembrance this time. I think the spray fins may not fit in here. The, maybe the spray fins just have to be something that cost one, two, or three that's good defensively for whenever we don't have Prismatic Barrier. Or sorry, so sorry. Uh, for whenever we don't have remembrance, I was like, we may need just another um, defensive option that costs less than four mana. I've been propagating quietly ever time. <laughs> I see face in your future. I think we all know how this plays out. So how do we stop Bastion? I guess the answer is we don't. I'm sure there's something for my tastes. Please no Bastion. No. Um come on in. We're going to need to try to detain this Tom Kench now. This may be safer than going for another detain for going for a detain that can get destroyed by another bastion. It's too late now. Because they know about the detain, so they they obviously weren't worried about the detain by going that way. So they don't, they're not able to use the four mana protection spell and also uh, Bastion. Because, you know, they don't have enough mana, but um, they definitely should have healed their Tom Kench a little bit ago. Oh, darn. So they can have that plus Bastion. Excuse 
my impertinence. All shall crown in my magnificence! Fashion's pretty good. Can we get like a single combat? Gotta go with the flow. Finally. This is definitely a deck that usually plays a hush or two. There's always fight in it, Ponce Pablo. Um, but thankfully, you know, we finally got the single combat, so we're able to take down Tom Kench. Finally, but still got this going on. Don't have any great ideas here. Like a fish in water. <laughs> the star child. I'll clear up. Because we're not only racing against like the damage they're dealing, but we're racing against the star spring. I can't block any of their stuff because I can't let them heal more things. I'll protect you. Virtue guides me. Sixteen. out of 22 the the life steal doesn't matter that my life total all that stuff doesn't matter the, the card that matters here is this right here I don't care about the radiant guardian life steal one bit I have to kill that thing because that's another thing they get to heal. Ugh, that's something else they can heal. So that's got that's gonna be game then. Okay, yep, the second one. It's game. Bastion too good. Bastion's pretty good. Alright, so Salvage is definitely gone. Do we want to keep both of these? No. I kind of feel like having the Riposte, because I'm going to be planning on playing the Mage Seeker Investigator on turn three, it's so kind of like having the Riposte be able to protect it against all these dragon and dragon challengers. It seems like whenever we can get our deck set up 
And if, you know, like on turn 10, our deck is really good. It's just getting to turn 10 is a big struggle. Tough thing. This is definitely where our decks are the best. And we have turn three remembrance. Ugh. Unfortunately, Radiant Guardian, <laughs> not a very good hit. Banish the unworthy. Here they come. Dragon blood. A little surprised for that block. I'll wait on Mage Seeker Investigator. Um, it's an option for this turn. But we'll wait on that. I'm surprised by that block they just had. Alright, so basically, I'm going to go with this with Repose. Suffer my fury. You know, basically, so we kind of need to see of like what what did we want to take down or try to take down with Shivana or um, or the Challenge Dragon, depending on how we went with this. I I don't think that this the Spring card is a uh, the best card in the expansion, and by far I don't think that at all. It's it's playable, but. I don't think it's anywhere near the best card. And strike. Let's just attack. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens here. Of course, my plan is definitely Lux. <laughs> Trundle's not in this expansion. Trundle was the last expansion. There's the Call of Call of the Mountain is a set that has three expansions. The first expansion was also called Call of the Mountain, and that's where Trundle was in. The second expansion um, is this one right here with Monuments of Power, and then the third expansion will be coming out in December. The three of those together is a set. It's okay. Yeah, so that, that's just the language that they use with this game languages of what to call those is a little different for each game. So if I want to go repost again, we have three extra mana, which, we, which maybe I should be keeping for Prismatic Barrier and have repost and Prismatic Barrier. I'm just getting the Mage Seeker in play. So remember last time they attacked with these, we blocked with barriers. So Shivana has still not actually seen any dragons do any damage. All right, so we're about to have eight mana. All right, yeah. Had that one under control. And the opponent thought the same. The superior tactic is to never give up. Um, all right, so there we go. So there's Tom Lux. Um, unyielding Tom. Has a lot of power. If you can get to the late game and you can get your champions in play in the late game, you're probably going to win. Like, there's not much... Um, that's probably going to be beating this if you can get to that point. Getting to that point is a little bit of a struggle. I think that like your your Noxus Bilgewater matchup is probably quite bad with this deck. Unfortunately, you do have your Radiant Guardians, but that's that's like your only prayer. Um, but the the Tom Kench Mirror, you're probably going to be pretty good in the Tom Kench Mirror. We did lose the Tom Kench Mirror, but I think a lot has to go wrong for you to lose the Mirror. You know, like they got to have probably multiple Bastions. Which, you know, they can only play three, but they got to have multiple. They have to have, like, their Tom Kench and multiple Bastions. Um, and then also you not have, like, single combat. 
I think that's that's basically what kind of has to happen for you to lose that mirror. Um, and that's that's what what did happen that second game. So, you know, we won one, lost one. Um, <laughs> let's see. So I would think I would think in here I. So as as you know, like for like whenever I've been uh, playing this, basically what what I was kind of concerned about is just basically the first three turns, like turn four. You know, and then you can have like Tom Kench zaps Ray Finn, but what can we do the first three turns? Um, and I, I feel like this deck needs another thing. Like whenever we had Remembrance, we that was cool. We had something to do on, on turn three that was good. Besides that, you're looking at like Investigator on three, but really nothing one or two. I think that's where I'd kind of be looking at is just like something else to do turn one, two, or three where like if my opponent doesn't play something. So something else that's not a spell on one of those uh, first few turns. You could even play, I mean, if you want, like, so that, like, that could be, like, Blinding Assault, where Blinding Assault, you know, that gives you something to do the first few, few turns. It, it is a spell, so it is spell mana later on for Lux. And, you know, like, Blinding Assault can match up well, especially with playing these four mana spells of, like, Repose, Salvage, stuff like that. You can combine with those. Uh, but then it can also be a body for your Radiant Guardian to help um, turn on the, the Lifesteal and Tough for the Radiant Guardian. Um, so that that could be an option. Um, besides that, I think uh, some other decent options would be like Vanguard Sergeant. This is a great card to play on turn three that, again, produces an, a nice six mana spell for you, which that's really clutch with Lux. And uh, four Demacia could be good even with Tom Kench, of making Tom Kench bigger or healing Tom Kench. So I like that also. Um, so I would want maybe a couple of cards, you know, maybe some stuff like that. Yeah, so those are some some good options. Um, if you do need, if you do need, uh, just something, something cheaper against aggro, Mage Seeker Conservator, also another option, um, that's also going to, you know, die and then last breath get you a nice good spell. Uh, yeah, so what to remove, as far as removing, Unyielding Spirit could probably be like a one or a two of, three is a little heavy there, um, I'm not sure, like, uh, let's see, the, the Bayou Brunches, not sure if that's, that's really that necessary, but the Bayou Brunch, Prismatic Barrier, Repost, um, you know, seven copies of those could probably go down a little bit. And honest, honestly, I don't know if I really like Bright Seal Protector in this deck. It doesn't seem like Bright Seal Protector. Like, I think I'd rather have those other options over Bright Seal Protector. I do like Chain Vest a lot. I could see playing a second Chain Vest. Um, Salvage could probably be like a two of. That probably doesn't need to be three. And also, then uh, Spray Fin. Um... Brayfin's just pretty slow and doesn't block very well. Um, you know, doesn't play defense for us. We were playing a ton of Sprayfins, but it again, it, it just also is is quite expensive with everything else. So th those are some options of some things to take out. Um, wanting to to kind of go with that. All right, so there we go. So there's uh, Tom Lux. You can, you can you know you know play it like like as is. We had some decent success with it. Um, you can also uh, tune it depending on however your play style is, what what works for you, what you want to see. But there we go. That's Unyielding Spirit with Lux and Tom Kench. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And feel free to leave those comments about the deck or about anything uh, that we were just talking about. Um, other things about like what, what do you want to see on, on a stream, on YouTube. Y'all on YouTube, get, give me those deck ideas. What do you want? Uh, what do you want me to build? What do you want to see? I will be happy to do that. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Tom Lux, and I'll see you for the next video.